I was I was drafted uh, 1943, October the 12th of 1943. I was 18 years old. I was just halfway through high school, and Uncle Sam came along and took me in the service. At first, they they acted like they didn't want me. They thought they thought I had a bad eye. But I turned out to be expert with that idea. I was first scout all through combat. I was I was point man. Uh, you, they, you, you're about three to four hundred yards before you out ahead of everybody. They depend on you. you. Go right through these minefields and whatnot. You know, that praise guy. You got a first scout, a second scout. I ain't chance out then. They always get the second scout first. Cause they don't want to give away well their own position. Uh, uh, I'd say uh, these mines though, they only take 15 pounds of pressure to set them off. When you're walking, going through these minefields and the snow's clear up your hips, that's pretty scary. Hmm. But I, I figure, well, if the good Lord is going to guide me, then bring me through. I'm going to keep going. Uh, right after uh, after we had come out of the fast stone, I had some way I run right into the Battle of the Balls, you know, we kept going. Because believe me now, Patton wouldn't stop for nothing. You know. mm -hmm. he, he wouldn't. I mean, I, I get the man credit, though. He was, he, he was a good leader. Because mm -hmm. some didn't like him, but then they have a nickname, Blood and Guts. <laughs> and they, they don't want no yellow bellies. One thing of when you're in a combat, never hesitate to pull that trigger. You look at this other guy and you say, what did I ever do to that guy, you know? But that You can't feel that way, you see, because mm -hmm. he's going to get you. <laughs> you're thinking the same thing. <laughs> Whatever do to him. <laughs> but uh, the Battle of the Bards, we lost 20,000, 20,000 of our own men. We almost froze to death. It was so cold. Mm -hmm. your, your whole body just quivered, you know, you're soaking wet. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I turned that sniper gun, you know, I, I'll never, never forget it. I know, I know the good Lord had to be with me, you know, to, because Went right down through my helmet, but about that wide, you know. You give me a free haircut. <laughs> it, 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 it burned too. I had a scar up there for a while. <laughs> I couldn't find my helmet. Of course, you don't get a chance, you know, to look around for it. <laughs> that bet a good souvenir. Our first. The first kind of mission we had was a big submarine base in Lorientla. I was there. That was right there, right there in uh, France. Submarine base, we went in there to take that submarine base and wipe mm -hmm. it out. Well, we lost half of our division doing it. Mm -hmm. We had a pretty, pretty bad battle. Fourth Army Division come in and relieved us. We went from there into the secret line, all you could drag and teach you know, for miles, you know. <laughs> That's where I got connected with the Third Army, Pat, General Pat. We we lost a lot of men though. Lost a lot of men just there. And they sent sent us right into that's when we got into Germany, going all through France, got into Germany. And I went through so many villages, you know, fighting and stuff. And uh, you just had to play your cool. I mean, you're scared. Believe me, you're plenty scared. Only 18 years old. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of other ones the same age. You know, but yeah. That I knew I had a job to do. So I tried to hold, try to play it cool. You know. So we had to follow orders. 
we went into the Rhine River crossing. Mm -hmm. That goes right into Berlin. And I almost drowned going across the Rhine River. I wasn't, wasn't no swimmer anyway. See, but, uh, and that's a buddy of mine from big guy. I remember when he cut me loose, had that big pack on my back, got rid of it, made it across. <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, the Germans kept throwing shells in uh, 88s at us. That's awful scary too. You know. Anyway, then uh, uh, we, we run into the SS that's Hitler's standby, you know. That's actually the director's suicide squad. Wow. <laughs> they didn't fire their lives. And we, we just hard to get them to surrender, you know. Did you ever actually see Hitler or, uh... Yeah, I, do have to call it, we, we was up there, up, uh, pretty close to his hideout up in the mountains there. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'd say about from here out to where my car is at, that distance away from where I could have, I could have, I could, I could have actually shot the guy. But we got lost from our outfit once, there, you know, when we were making that drive towards the Rhine River, and, and the Polish people hit us, hit us out, the three of us, and that big convoy. Of, these officers went by. And I, 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 I could, have, I could have shot him right there. You know, but I, I wouldn't have been alive though. Oh and all these SS, you know, following. Yeah. But they take our guys, take our guys in the back, and then and tie the, tie the arms behind them, and shoot, shoot them in the head. Mm. That's what they had to go. To. So. We didn't take no mercy on them. We didn't want to take any of them prisoners, neither. And we got the orders, the orders come down for us to, to go in and liberate some of these concentration camps. That's where they murdered all these Jews. Six million Jews now, six mm -hmm. million. It's, that was heartbreaking, I tell you. Children and all, you know, about the Holocaust. Right there, I see it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. Believe me, it was terrible. And we had some of our own people in there now, you know, mm -hmm. that got captured. They all look, all look like walking skeletons. It's a terrible situation. Plus, little kids, and you know. But I had a lot of dreams after that, you know, seeing that happen. Believe me, the good Lord looked over us, brought us through that. <laughs>